it's Pink Mon, and welcome to the first official episode of the Rose Generation. Um, I just had Rosalie invite over Daxton, one of her boyfriends, um, because I want her to get engaged to, what's his name, Steven soon. She's going to start, what is this? Uh, no, we don't need to do that. <laughs> Anyways, because I want her to get engaged to Steven soon, I want her to just kind of low-key break up with all her side pieces. <laughs> just because she currently... What are you wearing, dude? We gotta fix that. Anyways, she currently is trying to basically commit to one person just because... She's a politician, and she's actually really high up in her career. She's level eight, so she is a representative, and she wants to reach the president level, so obviously she doesn't want to have a bunch of scandalous things going on because her opponents could use that against her. So currently her plan is to actually commit to one person, but obviously we know that's not going to last. <laughs> but until she reaches the president level, that's what she's thinking she's going to do. She thinks she needs to settle down with like the most eligible person that she has met so far. And Steven is that because he, oh, he's actually our neighbor. <laughs> he's unemployed. We're going to pretend he's not. He's going to be working in the business career and we're going to set it so he's like high up in the business career and he's kind of rich and stuff. He's just the most eligible out of all the people she's dating. I think what she wants to do is have one last, oh, this is so romantic in the bathroom, <laughs> have one last fling with each of these people before she breaks it off with them she's been with this dude daxton since high school right i'm pretty sure he's one of the first people oh my god his outfit one of the first people they're already inside each other so i guess this is going well <laughs> oh my god when her lips were on his face what's happening um she has like i love how she has a great reputation See, people don't know all the things she does. Only Gino knows. <laughs> Who's gonna believe him? He's a woman beater. Oh, no. <laughs> They're like stuck in each other. Back into the bathroom it is. All right, um, anyway. <laughs> oh no, Peppa's life is coming to an end. I'm pretty sure that means she's gonna die tomorrow, right? So she might actually die in this episode. Let me see. Oh no! Yeah, she's for sure dying tomorrow. That's so sad. Um, some other little random updates I've done. I fixed the glitch I was having where when I would rotate, the camera would just like start spazzing out. Uh, and I also fixed the glitch with like a million of those notifications from MC Command popping up. So Daxton's actually married. What is this? Uh, no, we don't want to donate to a charity. <laughs> We're not going to let him sleep here, though. All right, Daxton, as fun as it's been since, like, Ooh, high school, we got to end yeah. this. So we're going to go the mean route and actually break up. We're not going to ask to be friends. We want to really sever ties with these people. So let's see how this goes. He's feeling very confident. We're about to crush that confidence. Well, dude, you're married, so go home to your wife, dude. <laughs> okay. Looks like he's mad, but almost looks like he's mad. What? Uh. <laughs> what the heck was that? Let's ask him to leave. That was their goodbye woohoo they had. <laughs> I wonder if we could secure his vote. Just kidding. We should do that before breaking up with them. <laughs> That's what I'll do to all the other boyfriends and girlfriends. All right. I'm just going to have them all go to bed until tomorrow, which is actually a holiday. What is it? It's New Year's. So maybe we'll have a New Year's party. I'm really scared Peppa's going to die, though. <laughs> okay. It's the next morning. Everybody got up super early. Um, I just noticed that Rosalie's sad about this breakup. I kind of want to get rid of that because I feel like she wouldn't be sad. Maybe she's sad that she has to give up her cheating ways for a little while. So maybe I should keep it. I don't know. I'll get rid of it if it starts becoming annoying and she's like just sad and mopey the whole day. <laughs> but 
obviously no one has work or school because it's a holiday and it's Saturday. Um, like I said in the update video, which if you didn't watch, I'll put it in the, I'll link it up in the corner here. Um, I'm just having Saffron work on all her childhood skills just to see if we can get them as high as possible before she ages up. I don't know if she gets any kind of special trait from that, but I know it'll make her higher in all her skills starting out as a teen, so it's good to do. Um, oh yeah, I also wanted to buy some rewards for Saffron. I'm gonna wait until she saves up like 2000 and we'll get her entrepreneurial i also want to get her the connections reward because actually i'll get that first because then when she starts her career she'll start even higher up in it i know she's going to be an a student so she'll automatically be starting like level three and if we have connections on top of that it should be pretty high rosalie um she has a lot of reward points what do we want to get her i was thinking either Oh, she doesn't even have beguiling yet. We get her beguiling. She doesn't, like, she's so high up in her career. I feel like we don't even need to waste any points on connections or, well, connections wouldn't help her at this point because she already started her career. Entrepreneurial, like, she's already so high up. It's kind of pointless. So either great kisser or beguiling would be good. Maybe great kisser. Let's get that. And next time we'll get beguiling. And Peppa also has some points, even though, like, she's probably dying. Why not get her something? Mentor. I think, basically, I was kind of confused about this reward because you can already mentor Sims when you're level 10 in any skill. So, it's like, how does this help you? But I guess it actually helps them improve their skills quicker if they have this reward. I don't know. It's weird. Because she, she can already mentor people. But whatever. We're going to get that. Maybe she can help Saffron just a little bit more before she passes. I think Rosalie is going to go on a little New Year's morning date. Who should we take out? We have to dump someone else. <laughs> so we have Devin, Nicole, and Julie that we have to get rid of. Let's go with Devin. She's also, actually she might be the first person that we started cheating on Gino with. So let me just invite her here and then we'll meet her somewhere. Um, what do we have to do for this holiday? I kind of want them to have a good holiday. We have to decorate. So let's just put up the default decorations because I don't really have time or like the care to go through each one. <laughs> so that's done. We have to have a party spirit. Uh, share New Year's Eve spirit, sing about New Year's Eve, blow some horns, what else? An inside joke, and an impression, okay. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> That's a bold move, Devin. I don't even think we have to take her out, actually. Let's just take her up here because <laughs> she made her intentions pretty clear. Woohoo, Devin. Let's skip everything else. Um, you know what we'll do is we'll secure her vote before we break up with her, though, because we should have done that with Daxton. She has to secure how many more? Five more votes to get a promotion. So go have fun. <laughs> Rosalie, like, picked the perfect outfit for New Year's Eve. She's all decked out at like she was like decked out at six in the morning all right um she doesn't even have to do this goal so i don't know why i was making her do that oh we can set their resolutions let's do that uh saffron what could her resolution be probably like the uh she can't become a better student <laughs> and she can't get she's not in the scouts uh, complete an aspiration milestone. She can't do that either because she already completed her whole aspiration. We'd have to choose a new one and we're not doing that. So obviously raise a skill. That's what I wanted to do anyways. And I'm working on her creativity one right now just because why not? Peppa, um, setting resolutions kind of pointless for you because you're not going to be able to live to do it. It sounds so bad. Uh, but yeah, raise a skill, get fit. Uh, we'll just say raise a skill and maybe she can raise her gourmet cooking skill. So I guess they did not decide to woohoo for some reason. She's also married apparently. Let's come compliment her appearance. Loving the outfit. Attempt to seduce her. 
and then try this again. Woohoo with Devin. <laughs> Alright, okay, I guess it worked this time. So once we're done with that, we're going to secure her vote. And then I'll probably have her go out with the next person. Let's try to break up with all the side pieces today. That's the goal. Maybe we can invite one of them to a New Year's party and break up with them then. <laughs> Yay, she already completed her resolution because she raised her creativity skill to four. So what I'm going to try to do is get them all to like an even level so she can get like an even amount of skill gain as soon as she becomes a teen, you know? So next we'll try to bring social up to four and then we can do motor before Devin tries to leave or something. Let's go in and try to secure this vote. I don't know if she can just do it or if we should like promote our policies first. Let's just try. And then we'll... I like how they're shaking hands after that, like really. <laughs> Okay, she seemed receptive, so she should agree to this. Or not. Wow! Alright, cool. Well, we're just gonna break up with her right now, then. At least we have a good reason to now. <laughs> if you're not gonna vote for me, then get the hell out of my house. Alright, so... You're married too, like, really? Go away. Now we have to break up with Julie and Nicole. Let's go out with one of them. Uh, let me see. Spend weekend with. Uh, ask on a date. We'll go with, who's the newest one? Julie's the newest one. That's a short-lived relationship, I guess. She decided to come to the Sunnyside wow. Diner. She's a little overdressed for this restaurant, but that's okay. So basically it's a little brunch date, even though she's not hungry at all. So she's probably just gonna get like, I don't know, a drink and a pastry or something. Ooh, this hostess looks real enthusiastic. <laughs> I'm gonna have Saffron build her social skill. Poor Julie, you have no idea what's coming after this. Okay, let's order. We'll just get her some, like a latte. Get a mocha for Julie. And then just something small, like, I don't know, a scone. <laughs> and we'll get a croissant for Julie, sure. 25 bucks. Not too bad. Damon is calling. What's up? One of my friends heard about how great you are and has been asking to meet you. Can I give them your number? I guess so. She's always up for meeting new people. Let's ask about her day. Not that we care. Maybe we can secure a vote. Uh, let's just, whatever, do all these political things. Secure the vote, hopefully. Oh, they're gonna get up for this. It's so stupid. They have to shake hands. <laughs> she looks pregnant. Let me check. Um, <laughs> are we famous or is she famous? Because I'm pretty sure we're not famous. She is ma- wait. Devin? Is that the Devin we just dumped? I gotta check. She has a child. Oh, she is. She's pregnant with a baby. <laughs> One male baby. Is that the same Devin, though? No. This is Devin with an I. That's Devin with an O. Did we secure the vote? All right. That apparently didn't work. Uh, let's try this again. We don't really want our picture to be taken in the background of this famous dude's picture being taken, so hopefully we weren't in that picture. <laughs> This is the whole reason we're trying to break up with all these people. Because she really can't have that type of reputation if she wants to be literal president of this sim world. <laughs> Dude, what are you even doing? She doesn't seem to like this food for some reason. Uh, heard you and Daxton are good friends now. You're getting more popular. <laughs> we're not really good friends. We kind of just broke up, but whatever. Uh, so did I secure- okay, I did secure her vote, that's good. So let's get through this meal. Um, as long as we socialize one more time, this should be a 
successful date. Not that it really matters. The goal date goal is on the next um, part of her aspiration. Cool. So has anyone noticed that this whole like goal system is kind of weird lately? Like I feel like every time I get the main goal done, it automatically becomes gold. Like on every party or social event. That's what I've noticed. All right, this celebrity's ruining everything, but you know what? I wonder if we can introduce ourselves because he could be an option for someone for her to date. Uh, I wonder if he'll introduce himself to her. She has no celebrity um, stars or anything, so probably won't be successful. She has a great reputation, but she's totally unknown. She should be getting more fame now that her career is so high, though. She's getting pictured with him. <laughs> oh my god, she's screaming. <laughs> she should have had her baby with him. Looks like he rejected her. Uh, maybe we can ask for an autograph? I don't know. Never mind. Screw him. We'll work on him later when she has more fame. Okay, let's end this meal and then find a place to woohoo around here. I just added a bush behind the building because why not? That's what I always do when there's no woohoo places at a venue. <laughs> Time to woohoo with a pregnant chick and then dump her. And then we just have, what's her name? Nicole Richards. Oh. <laughs> What a nice goodbye, woohoo. Okay, time to break up. I wonder how she's gonna take it. Probably not good. <laughs> Why am I laughing? I sound so evil. Well, I don't really feel bad for any of these people because they're all married, so it's like... She's still trying to flirt, though. <laughs> Go away. Alright, so I'm gonna send her home and we're probably gonna plan some kind of party for New Year's. All right, we're home and I'm just having Rosalie plan a little social event. We'll invite the brothers and Steven, obviously, and maybe even Nicole. Should we be that risky and try to do something with her while um, Steven's here? Um, should we just do house party? I guess. Okay, so everybody is heading here. Let's just have Peppa make us some food. <laughs> We're using her like a slave. Uh, even though she's a vegetarian, hopefully she won't eat what she makes right now because <laughs> obviously shrimp is not vegetarian safe. So let's turn on the New Year's TV, maybe put on some music. Uh, I don't know, pop probably. Holly McClendon. Oh yeah, that's that chick we met that one time. She's also an option because we're already pretty good friends with her. But for right now, oh, Steven's looking mad. Wonder what his problem is. Is he gonna go smash the dollhouse? Let's ask about his day, see what his problem is. I gotta give him a full makeover because I've only made over his um, everyday wear. I'm just gonna change him into that. Hey, it is, I still don't know how to tell them apart. Jupiter. <laughs> and there's Damon. Oh, we gotta meet Damon's girlfriend so we can invite her to stuff. Oh, and here is Saturn and his little suspenders looking cute. I kind of want them to get closer. Because I think she would really like her alien siblings since her whole goal in life is to go to Planet Sixum in the rocket ship or whatever. Oh no. What's going on? Oh, her resolution's complete. I thought she was dying. <laughs> Panic mode. Whoa, Damon's really getting down over there. Okay, let's thank him for coming. Let's try to cheer him up because he's clearly not in the best of moods. Oh no, did our TV just break? We're gonna have to fix that. Peppa's gonna have to fix that. Stop talking and finish cooking. Do you like um, Saffron's little rocket ship t-shirt I gave her? <laughs> oh no! I literally just jinxed it. Now she's dying in the middle of the party. Peppa, no, I'm so sad. This just turned out to be the worst party ever. Stop. <laughs> oh my God, how heartless are her kids? They're just like sitting here talking like nothing's happening. I'm so sad right now. 
Why is no one reacting? Why is everyone just like totally cool with it? Okay, finally, they're reacting. Like, jeez. Except for Seth. I mean, Rosalie just doesn't care. <laughs> Dude, stop talking to your boyfriend and pay attention. Is she really like a legit sociopath or <laughs> she might be? No reaction. Okay, she's finally reacting. Well, this is officially the worst New Year's ever. Um, poor Saffron. Look at her. Aww. Mm, this is really depressing. Peppa. I'm gonna miss her. She was honestly so fun to play with. She's just like this evil scientist lady always causing problems for her co-workers burning down oh no <laughs> crap burning down oh, she's an urn burning down akira's house is probably my favorite thing she ever did oh my god now everyone's just like okay let's keep partying uh how did she just <laughs> Um, accomplish a goal. Wow, uh, should the party be over or I guess we can't have the shrimp. That's the worst part. I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay. Aww. Poor Jupiter. Oh my god, this is so sad. Tell me what's sadder than these adorable alien boys crying. Like, exactly nothing. Except maybe, maybe saffron bawling her eyes out. Actually, that's way sadder because I was her BFF and her only friend in the whole world. So I'm really, really sad for her right now. Whoa. I'm just trying to take some screenshots <laughs> without like her mom's scantily clad legs in the background. The guests are just like all good. They're just eating food. Don't give a crap. Aww. This is depressing. <laughs> Why am I laughing? I don't really know. That's enough screenshots. So, yeah, this party got real awkward. Maybe we can secure the vote of this dude. Let's go do a polite introduction. <laughs> we can secure death's vote. That sounds a little bad to do, actually. Let's promote our policies. <laughs> This is so weird. <laughs> Try to secure his boat. We could bribe him. He seemed really receptive, so he should. Oh my god! Befriend the Grim Reaper. We're apparently like friends with him. But we didn't get his vote. Let's try to get this chick's vote. Oh yeah, she I could I didn't even recognize her because of her weird outfit. Uh I feel like the reason I'm not freaking out so much over Peppa's death is I just knew it was coming. So, yeah. Like, it was obviously gonna happen in this part, so I'm not surprised by it. I was already mentally prepared for it to happen. I'm not really mentally prepared for how much all the kids are crying. It's pretty depressing. Except Rosalie, because she's kind of a cold person. <laughs> like, she's obviously sad, but just not that sad secure vote please why is nobody like being receptive to this lately can't i make empty promises let's do that and then go in and debate from the right this time maybe it'll work better promote our policies oh we're not allowed to ask anymore that's annoying okay let's chat here and we're gonna woo with her that sounds extremely inappropriate to do right after her mom just died in front of her but like i said rosalie's extremely cold and just honestly <laughs> she is probably doing this as a form of grieving uh so can we not oh my god that's so annoying we should be able to woohoo even if she's sad i'm really annoyed by that um oh well okay then guess that's not happening let's rep 
place this TV just because I don't want her to die too. <laughs> and just watch some New Year's TV. Whatever. That's all they can really do right now. Let's have everyone come watch this countdown to midnight. Aww, that was cute. Looks like Steven is having some kind of in-depth conversation with Saturn <laughs> about his anger. Dude, can you not make this about you right now? Their mom just died. Like, wow. Anyways, <laughs> I'm gonna end this little party with the countdown to midnight. Hopefully it'll cheer them up a little. <laughs> so awkward. Yay, I guess. No, they don't look that cheered up. <laughs> I feel like sometimes on New Year's, my Sims, like, even though they did watch the countdown to midnight, they get stuck with this and then they don't accomplish the goal. It's really annoying. Oh, she has to set a resolution too. We'll have her do aspiration milestone or a promotion. Uh, let's do the promotion. Okay, good. She did accomplish that. She still needs to do the New Year's spirit thing. Let's just awkwardly sing with our kid who we have like almost no relationship with. Uh, blow horns. Now she now saffron can actually make friends at least that's the positive part of peppa dying if, <laughs> if that doesn't sound too horrible let's get to know our kid because i'm pretty sure she doesn't know her at all maybe they can well they're never gonna get like a super close relationship but maybe they can at least become friends they just have very different personalities and interests and everything so so the funny thing is they're gonna accomplish all these little holiday goals <laughs> So it's gonna say they had a great holiday, but actually their mom just died in front of them. So not really. <laughs> well, this is really sad and I feel really bad, especially for Saffron because now she's alone with her mom, which is for her kind of awkward because her mom doesn't really pay attention to her and stuff. So yeah, I do feel bad for her more than Rosalie. Um, I'm gonna have Rosalie just eat and then go to bed. At least now we can work on, oh, Actually, Saffron's feeling happy now. <laughs> At least now we can work on Saffron making some little school friends. Maybe she can meet some little nerd friends. Maybe they can start a science club. I don't know. <laughs> For Rosalie, obviously, we know the goals that she is working on right now. So in the next part, we can hopefully move out of this house into Steven's mansion that I still have to give him. <laughs> if you enjoyed, please leave a like, give a comment, RIP Peppa or something like that. <laughs> if you're gonna miss her, cause I definitely am. She was a really fun sim to play with. She's not the type of sim I normally would play with, so I really liked playing with her. But anyways, she will be missed. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I hope I'll see you next time. Bye.